What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is John. I am back with another review. This time we're reviewing Quest's protein chips. They sent me seven boxes of their chips. We're going to review them and then rank them. And I'll tell you guys which ones I like from most to least. And let's get started. What you're here for first of all is the macros of course, right? They are 140 bags. Whoa. 140 calories per bag and 340 milligrams of sodium one gram of sugar and a whopping 19 grams of protein, which is fantastic for chips. This one has 18, um, I guess they vary, but no, I think they all say, this one is 18 grams, the um, nacho cheese. All of other ones say 19 though. So we're gonna try them out, I'll let you guys know what I think of each one and then I'm gonna just rate them one through seven from my favorite to least favorite. This is not sponsored. Um, they just sent me their chips. I thought I would rank them and make a good informative video for you guys who are out there on your fitness journey, trying to get your protein in, but still love chips like I do. So without further ado, let's open them up and try them out. This is as good a time as any to tell you guys to like, subscribe, uh, if you like my content, to uh, you know stick around and you know hit that notify button and maybe drop a comment so that my content gets pushed out to millions and millions of people across the planet who are on their fitness journey and just love food reviews and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm going to open these up. I will fast forward through that because watching me open this sounds kind of boring. All right, so I got all the chips out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different flavors. We have chili lime, sour cream and onion, loaded taco, nacho cheese, spicy sweet chili, cheddar, sour cream, cheddar and sour cream, and barbecue. Um, I, just to be fully transparent, I have tried the nacho cheese. I have tried the loaded taco, the sweet, spicy sweet chili, and I've tried the barbecue. Um, out of the ones I haven't tried, I'm really excited to try these, the sour cheddar and sour cream and the sour cream and onion. And if you were a kid like me at one point, which I'm sure you were a child at one point in your life, going to the corner store, getting these with a Gatorade in Arizona was like a staple in my childhood. So I'm super juiced to try those. Um, so let's start. First up, barbecue. I'm gonna list them. I guess how I'll do it is I'll put my least favorite on this side and I'll put like a ranking on like the screen too and stuff, but I'll put my least favorite on this side up to my favorite on this side. So, barbecues first. They smell pretty good, they smell like barbecue. I always do a two taste test. It's hard to judge on the first taste, like listening to an album on the first time and saying I love or hate it. You gotta listen to it a couple times. I'm not the biggest barbecue fan, um, but these are solid. The crunch is great. The texture of the chip is great. Like if if a regular standard chip was like 1A, the these are like right below at like a 1B, 2. The texture isn't too far off from a regular chip. So if you're looking for like that chip um, flavor crunch, so far, this is great. But as I said, I'm not a big fan of barbecue. Definitely gonna start at the bottom for me just cause barbecue isn't really my thing. As a rating, seven out of 10. Solid, but definitely not my favorite thus far. But it's only the first one. We can only go up from there, right? All right, boom. Number seven, at the bottom. Next up, cheddar and sour cream. Again, 19 grams of protein, four grams of carbs. Let's Try them out. I will say in typical chip fashion, it is like not a lot of chips in there. If you guys can tell, um, it's like, man, it's right. Maybe like 48% chip. The rest is air. But then I figured out it's because so the, the chips don't crush and stuff. But yeah, I mean, these chips are expensive. So you want to make sure if you're going to get them another healthier option. So um, you're gonna pay for that, which I totally understand. But um, just letting you know, I wanna be fully transparent. 
Um, it is quite a light bag for the price. Ooh, you really smell the cheddar on this one. Nice looking chip. Oh. I'll, let, I'll let you know from the ones I've had and this one already, the, the taste is light. You're not gonna get like a big punch of taste in these chips. Um, they're very subtle, but I think that's the point, right? You're gonna you're gonna have sacrifices. If you're looking for a real chip, you're not gonna get it here. You're gonna make sacrifices in these chips because um, they're healthier alternative. 140 grams of um, 140 calories, 19 grams of protein. You know you, you can't win them all. These are good. Definitely good. I would get these again. 7.6 out of 10. That's pretty good. So this is seven, six, five. I'll put them right here at like four. Seven, six, five, four. Yeah, they're in the four spot. This this lineup can change. I don't foresee barbecue going any lower than seven because there is no more than seven. <laughs> um, and I don't know if anything will take barbecue spot just because like I said, I'm not a barbecue guy. I love barbecue food though. Next up, sweet chili, spicy sweet chili. I think I've had these, and I think I, I like. Mm, this this flavor is actually quite pungent. Here we go. Covered, seasoned, pretty good. Looks like just like a Dorito. If you saw this, I bet you, you right there. If you saw this in a bowl at a party when you were 14, you would have thought this was a Dorito until you tasted it, and you're like, oh, it's kind of off. Oh yeah, these are gas. These are hella good. Mm-hmm. A little bit of cheat code though. Like I said, I've had them before. Currently, currently number two. Those were good. Don't even need, I mean, do you want me to explain it? It was sweet, got a little bit of kick, little bit, not like, if you're like, oh, it's spicy. It's, to me, it's not spicy at all. But you feel a little bit of the kick, you get a nice sweetness, and it's very, it's seasoned pretty well. Oh, and this is a good time to tell you guys to like, subscribe, comment, notify, send this video to all your friends who are on their fitness journey that want more protein in their life. Because you're telling me I can eat a bag of chips with 19 grams of protein? Crazy nuts, bananas. Until I try them, and then they're like, wow, I'm crazy nuts, bananas. All right. Next up, Quest tortilla style protein chips, nacho cheese. Yeah, these smell good too. Very, very well seasoned. Look at that chip. There's a beauty in it. It's Tuesday in it. Yeah, these are good. Very solid. One more for the people back in London. Yeah, these are good. Damn, I wonder who's gonna fill these spots, five and six. I'm running out of room. These might, these might. They're not bad, but I have a feeling these guys are gonna smack. Watch, watch. All right, seven, six and five still up in the air. Four, three, two. Oh shit, this is two? Four, three, two. Oh damn. Ooh, who's gonna take that number one spot? Shout out to Ludacris. All right. Loaded taco. These have a, oh, okay, but this one had 150 grams, sorry, 150 calories. Just a FYI, 10 more calories, ooh. Closure, I just came from breakfast with my mom and grandma. Shout out to my grandma, she just turned 93. You think she turned 93 by eating these? Probably not, but I mean, she made it to 93, so what am I doing? What do I really know at that point? But shout out to her, give her a birthday shout out in the comments below, 93 years young, still kicking, still moving strong, still eating. She just had an arepa with, um, which is a Colombian um, snack, meal, item, um, with chicharron in it, and it was so good. I got a breakfast arepa, my mom got a chicken bowl, um, and it was really, really good, called Creative Ideas Cafe in um, Visitation Valley here in San Francisco. Check them out, support local, support small business, great people, I talked to the owner for a little bit. Anyways, I digress. Loaded taco flavor, loaded taco flavor. Boom, these look good too. These kind of look like the sweet chili ones. 
Mmm. Hey, Bailey, take it easy. One more bite, but I might actually like these less than the barbecue. It's not that they're bad, just I think they're going for that taco taste and it gives it a weird taste instead. 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 Um, damn. For now, it's gonna go here, but it, it might. It might drop down to seven. We'll see. All right, this one I'm really excited to try. I know I rated the first two and then just forgot, so forgive me. Um, I'll add my ratings at the bottom of it all once I rank them seven through one through seven. I'll add the ratings at the bottom, so I apologize. These look just like the old ones I remember when I was a wee lad. Sour cream and onion. It's, it's there. It's there. I need one more bite though. Damn. They're good. But they're not top three good. So it's going to go here somewhere. Oh man. You know, I hate to say it. It's going to go in the five spot. Boom. So that leaves one. I'm going to, we'll see. Because like I said, it's, it's a changing order. Same thing, 140 calories, 20 grams of protein. Chili lime, shout out to you. Last one, two chips, and then the deciding factor. Hmm. These actually have the most heat to them. Oh, okay, all right guys, this is how we're gonna do it. These are number one, these are number two. All right guys, this is how we're gonna do it. These are number one, these are number two. Bless you. Chili lime goes into number three. Cheddar and sour cream number four, sour cream and onion number five, loaded taco number six, and barbecue number seven. These might have been interchangeable. These, like I said, these weren't bad, it's just they were going for that taco flavor and um, it just gave it like a strange flavor. It wasn't bad, it was just a strange flavor. So if you're up in the air about these two, if you find if you fancy a barbecue chip, then I would just go with these. If you're trying to be adventurous, try something different, I go with these. These would probably be really good um, in like a nacho. Anyways, this is the ranking. I like them all. Um, none of them are bad. And if you're looking, like I said, if you're looking for a chip, like a real chip, just go get a bag of Doritos, a little bag, and enjoy yourself. But if you if you eat chips every day, you find yourself really struggling to snack, like you snack a lot, then go with these. Um, they're not gonna, they're not the same thing. They're not a one-to-one -one exchange, but they're honestly a great um, substitution. And you get your protein in, especially if you're lifting weights, you're trying to put on some muscle. These are a great option. Um, this is my ranking, screenshot it, take a picture of it. Ready, take a picture. And then, um, yeah, so this is it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop it in the comment below. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm gonna try to do more comment. And whoa, I'm gonna try to do more content. Um, I appreciate you guys liking, subscribe. For all of you who are new here, for all of you who are new here, my name is John Montoya. I live in San Francisco, California, the Bay Area. I do food reviews, I do hotel tours, I do my vlog life with Dina and Bailey and my mom and my grandma and all my friends. And just a regular guy out here on YouTube trying to make it big worldwide so if that's that sound oh whoa man i'm stumbling fumbling bumbling all over my words if that sounds like something that you enjoy give a like subscribe comment drop a comment down below send this to your best friend who's trying to put on some muscle and look good for the ladies or themselves love yourself first guys anyways one love buen provecho i'll see y'all later